last but not least, we have Zach McLeod. Uh, Zach, we're going to jump right into questions, and we'll start with uh, David Ferrones of the Sun Sentinel. David, if you had a question for Zach. Hi, Zach. Yes. Um, first, um, I want to know, uh, how did you respond to the whole uh, COVID situation, your appreciation for uh, getting out there today? Obviously, this was a season that, you know, you, uh, you redshirted your original senior season so you can have. So um, just being out there and, you know, when at first the season was at risk now, uh, you know, it seems you're, you're getting back out there to, uh, to have this season. Yeah, I mean, you said it, you know, it was a season that I – Registered to come back and play, and you know, at first it seemed like there was going to be some. I mean, it's still a possibility of things kind of going up with that, but um, you know, I'm not really one to worry a whole lot. You know, I control what I can control, and uh, you know, all I can do is keep coming out here and working like the season. Like I'm going to get to play every single game, and um, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm very thankful and blessed to be in this position right now. Awesome, Zach. Next up, we have Manny Navarro from the Athletic. Manny, if you had a question for Zach. Hey Zach, uh, welcome back uh, for your for your fifth year. Um, I wanted to ask you about the other linebackers because you're not the only guy back. Uh, there were other guys who missed last year. Uh, you know, you you redshirted, but guys like B.J. Jennings who were coming back from injury. Um, can you talk about those guys and maybe how they've looked? Uh, you know, coming back. I'd say we're pretty sharp. You know, we get in the meetings and you know, we have our little competitions and battles and whatnot between each other. But uh, when we get on the field, we I think we mesh well. Um, it's just a matter of, 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 of reps, just getting more of those reps because, you know, we lost a lot in the spring. Uh, then we had four practices. Um, so in a way, this is an extension of that. But we just, it's rapid fire, you know, uh, a lot of install. But at the same time, we had a lot of time to, you know, sit and watch film and learn and, you know, become acquainted with the playbook again. So uh, right now we're just putting it, you know, putting it down on the field with our cleats now. Awesome. Zach, next up we have Christopher Stock from Inside the U. Chris, if you had a question for Zach. Yeah, yeah, Zach, just Sam Brooks, um, maybe the strides you've seen from him, not just from the bowl game and, and spring ball, but just, I guess, just more uh, development from him, what, what you've seen from Sam. Again, it's just getting in the playbook and learning everything, being sharp, um, a little bit of, you know, starting to, you know, we're learning both sides, Mike and Will, and um, being being involved in other people's learning, you know, other, other positions learning on the, on the field as well. Because, um, you know, when you know other people's jobs, it helps you do yours a little bit better. Uh, so I've seen some of that from him. You know, more questions, just being more open and vocal about things. Uh, we all know he can ball, but just, you know, handing those other little aspects uh, will help him be that much more better of a player. We're going to see that soon. Great. Susan Miller-Degnan, if you had a question for Zach. All right, we'll come back to Susan. Uh, David Lake from 24-7 Sports. Uh, David, if you had a question for Zach. Yeah, Zach, wanted to ask you, yesterday um, Coach Baker was saying how just this season in general, it might be important for guys to cross-train at different uh, positions. You know, so in your case, I guess just the various linebacker spots, right? Um, is that something that they've kind of relayed to you guys? Uh, in this early portion of, of getting ready for the season? And, and how do you feel like that would suit you because you have kind of played all the linebacker spots, you know, along with along with some of your teammates at, at linebacker too? I mean, you know, absolutely. They, they mentioned that to us pretty early on. Um, that's always been something. The Mike should always know what the Will's doing anyway. Um, you know, even if we don't practice it, you know, flip-flopping and whatnot, uh, you still got to have an idea of the concepts. It's two very similar positions, so learning it, you know, should, should come fairly quickly. Um, how, how I feel it suits me, you know, I already know everything from, unless I'm rusty or something, but for the most part, I think I know everything from, from the Sam slash striker position. You know, if they ever needed me to go back out there for a game, or, you know, I'd be more than willing to do that. Um, and I'm just becoming reacquainted with my inside linebacker roots, you know, and, um, you know, I'm trying to do my best at that uh, right now. And, you know, everything's coming along pretty nicely. Great. We'll go back to Susan Miller-Degnan of the Herald. Susan, if you had a question for Zach. Hey, Zach, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Um, so do you feel pretty old out there right now? <laughs> I don't, I, maybe, maybe in terms of how I think and, uh, you know, some of the things I have to say. But, you know, feeling-wise, I'm out there running with the best of them. 
you know, I, I still move like those young cats. It wasn't, I, I'm wondering, how weird was it being without Shaq and Pinckney? Did you talk to them a lot? You know, when was the last time you talked to them? Any advice from them? What's it, you know, have they talked about this moment and not them not being here? I mean, it's, it's always, it's kind of like a, I don't want to say it's like an unspoken agreement because we've had our words about it and whatnot, but it's just, it's already just like a, you know, you know what to do type of thing. It's not a whole lot that, uh, that can be said at this point that we haven't already talked about and those things are probably between us, but, um, you know, it's, it's always going to be different, you know, being on the field without them. I think they just left such an impression on me, but, you know, that's, that's part of the thing, the feeling and the feeling of not having them with me, uh, kind of keeps them right there with me up here in the same way. And can I ask one more thing, Cam? I, yeah, I, yeah. Thanks. I, uh, Zach, you know, you, I know you sat out, I guess, after the third game of last season, and then you came back for Pitt, right? Um, what was it like sitting out all that time and you, and that you had a great game against Pitt? What was that like coming back? Did it make you appreciate it more? What was it like sitting out? That was weird. I, you know, I never had done that before. I never really pictured that being nobody. I don't, I don't think anybody comes into college picturing, you know, I'm going to sit out a year randomly you know, down the road after I've played this many snaps. Um, but it was, it was strange, but it was, you know, I got to take, I got to see the game from a different angle, really be supportive and um, take a break and just sit in and take everything and learn. And I think that was beneficial to me because, you know, sometimes your best learning happens when you just stop madness from happening and you kind of take things into your own hands. Um, but coming back from Pitt, you know, and playing that game and, you know, getting to just to be back out there, it was a little weird, you know, seeing the game from that angle just because I hadn't really done it that much. Um, but at the end of the day, it was just, it was just football, and uh, that's what I went out there to do. And I think, uh, you know, I did a pretty good job, but I had fun doing it. Awesome. Zach, last but not least, we have Tom D'Angelo of the Palm Beach Post. Tom, if you had a question for Zach. Hey, Zach. How you doing? And good. As we were getting deeper and deeper into this this summer, did you ever think, "Uh oh, what did I do?" <laughs> no. no. Um, you know, I, I, they say live with no regrets or something like that. It's it's kind of like cliche, but you know, I, every decision that I make, I stand on. I try to uh, the best of my ability, and you know, I, I put a lot of thought and consideration to it. And so, me kind of, you know, regardless of the circumstances, you know, happening around, you know, in the world. I did what I thought was the best thing for me, and you know, uh, there's no really, there's no going back on that. So how how did you, uh, and this could be said of asked of any player, how did you keep motivated to, you know, continue on all summer to stay in shape? How, and, and and when you were home, I mean, you know, what what was your uh, what was your thought process, and how and how did you stay in shape at times where you couldn't leave your house? Um, I mean, mentally, it's just. I love the game. I love what I do um, to a point where it's, it'd be, it's really hard to stop me from, from doing it, you, you know, regardless of the restrictions. I would have figured out something. Um, how it got done, I mean, you know, the same way I used to do it back in high school. If I was allowed, if I was allowed outside, I run around the neighborhood, you know, find my, my, myself a nice little route, track my miles on the, on the Nike app or whatever, whatever it is, and um, whatever they got. And, uh, you know, just keep it pushing. Push-ups, all sits, lunges. I had some weights at the crib that I could have used. So it was, it was, I just did whatever was available to me. And when I came back, I kept chipping away at it and trying not to lose just any progress, uh, keep gaining. Awesome. Zach, thanks for taking a few minutes with us tonight. And uh, good luck the rest of camp. I'm sure we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. Have a good night.